Okay, I am so excited about Christmas. I love this holiday. Don't we all love the Christmas carols and all the festivities that go on? We love the, the thought of the Jesus, the, the birth of our Savior on Christmas Day. It's such a special time. We have so many traditions that we engage in in my family over Christmas. And I know everyone enjoys this time. And, and although sometimes it can be difficult for people, it brings up some memories, but it's often an amazing time and a joyful time. But I have never seen angels like the shepherds, the shepherds who were greeted by angels to tell them about the birth of Jesus, our Savior. Could you imagine that, having angels come to you and talk about the Savior being born in Bethlehem? Pretty amazing. Well, they went to Bethlehem and they saw Jesus. And I'm going to read you from Luke 2.20, because the shepherds actually went back to their flocks after seeing Jesus glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen. It was just as the angel had told them. Wow, powerful, amazing. One of those mountaintop experiences that they must have had at that time. I'm sure that all of us have had one or maybe more of those mountaintop experiences in life. Maybe you've run a, ma a marathon and that was your mountaintop experience. Maybe the birth of your children. Maybe something in your career, some sort of milestone. But spiritually, have you had that mountaintop experience yet? For me, the mountaintop experience was when I went to Promise Keepers in 1996. This was an organization that, that was formed by Bill McCartney, who at the time was the head coach, head football coach of the University of Colorado. He formed Promise Keepers in 1990, and there were stadium events all over the country. I went to four different Promise Keeper events. These were for men's ministry. Is all about making men better as husbands, as fathers, as leaders of the church. It was all about addressing some of the, the issues that men struggle with, addictions and pornography and infidelity. They had amazing speakers and, and wonderful powerful music. So here we are in this stadium. One was in Tampa at the, the stadium that the Bucks play at. The, the Jacksonville one was at the Jags stadium. So here we're talking about 30,000, 40,000, 50,000 men praising God, glorifying Him. It was overwhelming still to this day. I can remember singing alongside other men and just being able to praise our Lord Jesus Christ. It was a time of sharing. It was a time of crying. It was a time of laughing as a group. But then after you leave, you go home and you're back to the daily grind. How do you keep that excitement, that passion? How do you keep the Holy Spirit alive within you after you leave a mountaintop experience like that? Like the shepherds seeing Jesus as a baby. I think there are ways that you can do it. For us, as promise keepers, one of the ways was by having accountability groups on a regular basis, and maybe having one person in particular that, you, that would hold you accountable. 
being in the word, being in prayer together. Another way is by sharing your talents, your treasures, and your time with others. When we can share, when we can serve, that keeps the Holy Spirit alive inside of us. And when we can stay connected to our Lord through our relationships, when we can touch other people's lives and be vulnerable and share our wounds, our hurts, our insecurities with others, when we can bless other people's lives through our gifts, that's how you keep it alive. So my hope for you is that during this Christmas time, this Advent season, is that you are able to ignite that spirit in you and share with others your love for Jesus. Allow me to pray at this time. Heavenly Father, thank you for blessing us in so many ways with so many gifts and talents. Help us to use that to bless others, to glorify your name, and to keep that spirit ignited within us. I pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a blessed Christmas.